Konnichiwa, minasan. My name is Jake. Welcome to our channel, Janex Jake. Today's video, we are going to do an unboxing and review of the solar powered wireless security camera by CamZ. So, this is an outdoor security camera, uh, as you can see. Before we proceed, I would like to give thanks to CamZ for sending us this product to be reviewed. Disclaimer, even if they sent me this item, I will be honest with whatever I find good or the bad or bad things about this product. Without any further ado, let's start the unboxing and review. Let's start to open the box. This is the box of the security camera. So basic box you can download and then the company name company sticker so let's open the box and there are messages support center or to contact and yeah first you will notice that there is the manual so please read the manual page uh, each page so it is very important that you know everything about your security camera and the security camera is wrapped in a plastic wrapper and yeah so this is the camera itself this side and this is the screw and the box where you can mount it and this is the cord unfortunately it's not yet usb type c it is micro usb and finally this little white box this contains the metal mounting bracket so it's very sturdy Oh, props to that can comes up so everything that is inside the box is this is it let's take a deeper look on the camera build quality is good yeah it, it doesn't feel cheap uh, there are certain uh, holes that are covered with rubber the back part as you can see it is nicely done this is the speaker and then there is a small canal when you mount it wall flush the audio will come out of that also this hole is for the mounting bracket as you seen earlier and the two holes above if you want to screw it on your wall and this port is for the dc in if you want to plug it in it's covered by rubber and this is also the port in which are the important ports and switches are located uh, micro usb port switch on off usb and then the reset button So let's cover this up so that no moisture or water will come in. At the top part is the solar panel. So this solar panel is very efficient. And this is the PIR sensor camera and the notification lights. And also the dots you can see that's the IR and the white light. So upon downloading the application, just open it, just follow the instructions. Uh, log in your account and then we can hear this voice command. Power on your camera and check that the blue indicator LED is blinking. Enter the camera name and address. Using default name and address can enter the Wi-Fi password. Please do not connect with the 5G. So after finishing the setup of the application, uh, I am now connected. So these are the device settings. So I set it to SD card storage because I don't want my videos to be stored in the cloud. And then the yeah, image flip if you want to rotate your image and then vision modes there are two normal in the night vision so by the way this is the night vision without the white light uh, if you want to zoom in uh, it's just cropping the image it is not really usable but overall in normal uh, it is very usable this is the colored one so colored this is daytime so this is the color mode it's clear so I really like the daytime colors. And other settings, the motion detection, sensitivity, human detection. And then the schedule setting, you can set up a schedule 
uh, if you want. Also, if you are using the cloud, you can set how long it will save your video. On the other settings, uh, you can turn on and off the LED indicator and then you can sync also the time to your phone and enable and disable daylight saving time and yeah that is basically it for the setting of this security camera is the boxing part of the solar powered camera we see to the pros and the cons of this item of this camera things that i really love about this camera number one number one this is the most critical one is the quality the picture quality the image quality of the camera it's really crisp i really love it i really like and love it especially in the daytime so it's really really clear i really like it compared to other high-end cameras or cheaper cameras yeah, it tends to be on the higher part. So thumbs up to that to CamZ. And then the second part is the battery. The battery is really amazing. I have tested it for almost a week already and then set it to the highest setting. And to, with the other cameras, like my SwitchBot Solar Outdoor Camera, uh, when you set it into the highest setting, it tends to drain the battery around 70% in one day, 70 to 80% and then it takes the next the whole next day to recharge it to almost 90 or 100 one but in this product it's really amazing because even if you set it to the highest setting and then in the evening port the battery drains only up to 90 and then it recharges it to full around two hours one to three hours like that even if I placed it facing on the street where traffic is high, the battery still remains very high. So, thumbs up to that, Camzel. Good job. As a third part that I really love is the mounting options. So, as you can see on the unboxing part, there are two holes on the top. And then also at the back, there is a hole which, which you can put a, I don't know, a screw mount. Forgot the name about it. Like me, I really like to transfer locations for my security camera. So it's very easy. It's very versatile. So yeah, that's the number three. Fourth art that I think is very good the, uh, on this camera is that and the storage option so it's up to 16 gig to 1 to 8 and the fifth point of this camera is that it is not intimidating so the form factor is just like the normal solar powered light so it does not intimidate it is not intimidating so especially here in Japan uh, uh, solar powered lights is very common and then if you have a security camera facing to the to this street or facing the other house, it tends to be intimidating and some neighbors do not like it. But this one, it's a, it can be placed on certain locations that I think the neighbors will not react in a bad way. And for the good points, let's proceed now on the bad points. Number one, I really love smart home devices. So I, so this channel, main review unboxing contents are for smart home. So number one point that I don't really like about this camera is that you cannot access the integration of Alexa with this camera until you get the subscription plan so uh, you don't really like that one i think other cameras even cheaper cameras compared to this one uh, out of the box you can integrate it with alexa but this one you cannot and for me i really don't like uh, getting subscription plans especially for cameras uh, it's a big no-no for me so unfortunately bad point one bad point point is that the application so the application when you use it it's yeah it's okay it's okay to a point but the interface it does not 
to look too good or it's not it does not look too modern at all it's too basic but it does the job so, yeah. the third part uh third part is that the wi-fi coverage so this item it's it is listed on the manual that if the if the signal is not that strong between your router and this in this camera you must place your camera near to your router so that you can achieve a good communication between those two devices but uh, i think that's a big no you know for me since because it is designed as a security camera sense that you will mount it outside of the house and by mounting it outside of the house there will be obstacles between your router and this camera for example i mounted the this camera i think around around five meters from the uh, router and the connection stopped and then there's only one wall between them also my house i am using a mesh mesh router setup yeah it tends do not benefit with that setup but i think uh camz can take this uh, suggestion that in the next iteration of this camera uh, please add a stronger wi-fi module so that it can pick up and hopefully your alexa integration will be free out of the box. For all, for me, this is a very good camera. Your quality and the battery is top notch. So, yeah, it, uh, I really recommend this camera, especially if you want a security camera and you are not really that on home automations, uh, smart home, and you just want to view your camera via your phone. Yeah, for me, it's a very good camera for that, for that usage. I think that is it for my review and boxing of this CamZ Outdoor Wireless Security Camera. So, I think that is it. See you on the next one. Bye. Peace.